Hey everyone, this is Mark with Mark Builds, and today I'm going to be making a desk. So, I've got several exciting things for this video. First off, I got a new toy, and I'm actually using it to do something practical. I'll explain more about that later. Uh, let me go show you my current desk setup, because we just found out that me and my wife are probably going to be working from home till the end of the year. So, it's time, time to upgrade a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, here you can see my current desk setup. It's an old folding table that I used to use to paint things on, as you might be able to tell, and a kitchen chair. So, oh, we got a little guest. Scotty, you want to star in the video? <laughs> She's a good girl. She's a little scared of the camera. Anyway, so here you can see I got my personal computer. I've got two monitors and my work computer and it's getting a little cramped. So I'm going to build a desk that's a little bit wider, a little bit longer. Um, and we're going to get a new office chair. So I might change the height of this to make that work. And we'll probably hang the monitors on the wall. We're going to upgrade this whole setup today. So. I got a bunch of two by fours. We're gonna do this uh, pretty cheaply. We're gonna make our own legs and Scout wants to play. So stay tuned and you'll see how I build this desk. Scouty, do you wanna play? Do you wanna play? Hug a girl. All right, I apologize for the 3D printer noise in the background, but I'm on limited time as usual, so we're just gonna have to deal with that printing while I work. Um, one major problem I had when I did the last couple uh, woodworking builds is I don't have a good way to flatten like slabs or the tabletops. So I'm gonna try um, using a router for this one. So I built a little sled for the router that I have here. This is a this is a pretty nice router. Um, it's older, but it's it's pretty large and torquey, and it works really well. So, we're I built a little sled for that to ride on. But an issue is it's really it did not ride on the sled well when I tested it. So you can see it's just like a, the cast um, bottom here. And it, it didn't like the aluminum. So it's got mounting holes, three of them. So I uh, figured, hey, let's make a little base that'll ride a lot smoother on, on this here, aluminum. So as most things go, uh, I didn't measure right. So it's currently printing the next one. Hopefully that one's right. I just kind of opened all the tolerances up. So even if it's not perfect, hopefully I can still fit a screw. Dug through the screw drawer. This is what I found that fit whatever thread size this thing is. So this is what I used. I just basically drew a couple circles, uh, counterboard the holes so that this can sit without rubbing in there and then it'll screw in. Should work pretty well. Obviously, I'll let you guys know how it turns out in the end. So now we're just waiting on the 3D printer. This print takes about three and a half hours or so. So it'll be a little while. Also, as with most of my builds, we're on a bit of a budget this for this one. So I picked up some slightly nicer stud 2x4s. Uh, and yeah, it should work. We're going to... We're gonna do a natural top, um, a lighter color stain probably, and then the the table legs I'm gonna build. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the square metal legs, but I'm basically gonna build those out of the wood and then we'll paint those white. So it'll be a nice light colored desk. Another addition, my parents didn't need their miter saw. So I now have a miter saw. That should make things a million times easier. All right, I obviously still had the whole pattern off a bit, but it's plastic, it bent enough without cracking. I did tighten one too tight, hopefully, I don't know. If I gotta print another, I gotta print another. But it's on. Let's give it a test run. 
All right, so this is just a real quick test to, to see if this thing will work. All right, it looks like it's gonna work. That thing is definitely flatter. You could see it had a curve to the board before where it was kind of uh, curving upwards like this in that area. So you can see I started, it didn't take off very much here. Obviously didn't take off anything over here. And I started really getting down into the board over here. So that's, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Now we're ready to get on to building the desk. Now that I know all my tools are gonna work right. Okay, so I found the best way all these boards fit together so they're nice and tight and I won't have to do a lot of work on the seams. And then the plan is I'm gonna draw a line straight across like this and we're gonna, we're gonna start drilling holes for this 3 8 inch dowel and that's gonna, how I'm gonna attach them together. So I'll glue this whole thing and then I'll glue dowels into each one. So there'll be a dowel here and then I'll probably offset it so it's over here then over here and do that all the way up on both sides. And then maybe in the middle, if I think it's necessary, I haven't decided yet, but that's the plan. It's eight feet long, so I'm just going with the length of the studs. I'll clean up the ends and then we'll decide at that point if it's too long. Um, current desk inside is five feet, but I'm not sure. I'd like a little bit bigger. I just don't know if I need eight feet. So that is that is the plan. It's a beautifully hot day in Florida. All right, I'm gonna get to drawing some lines and deciding how to drill this. I gotta make sure I drill it super straight or they won't fit together when I go to glue up. So we'll, we'll drill it and then we'll do a dry fit just to make sure everything lines up. But yeah, if I do mess up a hole, we'll just move it over, you know, an inch and it'll be fine. I got the lines all laid out. So I'm doing every other one. You can see I'll drill this, drill this drill this, drill this, and I've done that two more times down the length, so there will be three dowels holding it in place. We're gonna go with that at first. If it doesn't, if it still feels like it's gonna uh, bow a little bit or anything, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, when we dry fit, I'll check all that, and if I need to add more dowels, I'll add more dowels, but really just adding more is opening myself up to more room for error uh, when I'm dry fitting and, and making sure all of them are straight, so. I'm gonna do do a less less approach and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do less unless I need to do more. So no need to work harder than you need to. I I'm just stumbling on words. <laughs> I need new starter words. I was gonna say, okay, we got this done. And I was like, no, I say, okay, a lot. All right, we, dang it, I say all right a lot. So we, uh, so sucks too. <laughs> okay. Now that we've got. I'm just gonna start with weave. We've got this all hammered together, Katie helped me. Uh, it took some alignment, but it all came together pretty well. Most of this is very flat, but there is some places that are gonna need to be flattened. But it looks pretty good. So that's the dry fit complete. Uh, we're gonna take it all apart, glue it up, and put it back together. And then tomorrow I'll start on flattening it with the router. So I was pretty worried about this bowing, uh, but it's not gonna be any issues. Uh, with me on it, it barely moves at all, and we're not gonna have anywhere even close to this amount of weight on this. So. This should work perfect. Yeah, this is gonna work great. So we just need to take it all apart, glue it, put it back together, and then I'll start flattening it.
We got it all glued up, ready to start flattening tomorrow. So we'll let it sit. Oh my goodness, the yellow fly. Hey, Katie and I got this all uh, glued up and fit back together. It went together a whole lot easier the second time. So we're going to call it a night, let this sit, and I'll see you tomorrow evening when I start flattening it. All right, it's the next day. The glue's dried. This thing is ready to be flattened. So I went ahead and set up uh, what I'm using as my flattening jig. You can see I ran into an anticipated problem already that I should have seen where my sides are not really long enough. So I'm, I'm probably three inches off. I won't be able to get the last three inches. I'll have to do something else about that. But I've got it set. I took a straight edge across it. Um, like this and found my highest point, which was over here or right there, I couldn't decide, but I set it to this step and then we're gonna take a real light pass just to see how this works and do, do a few passes back and forth, make sure, make sure nothing unexpected happens and go from there. So you can see, I basically, I set this up on some of these, um, I think they're one by twos and that, that gets it just lower than these two by fours on the end, which I've got standing on end. And I have these two scrap pieces of wood on either end, just holding these two by fours in place so they can't move. And then I laid my jig across the top and then I'm just gonna pass the router back and forth all the way down. And then we'll adjust, cause there, there is a lot of variation in how we did this. So I'll probably have to make several passes and then we'll flip it over and do the other side. And then we'll decide which side's better and we'll make that the top. I'll set you up as a time lapse here and we'll get started. See how this first few passes go. All right, so let's take a real quick look. Um, yeah, we're 100% closer than we were before but it ain't perfect. Uh, this is where we started. And you can see there's some huge gaps there and then you move over just a little bit and they're already smaller. I think one more pass after this and we'll be pretty darn close. In some areas we're, yeah, we're almost to acceptable uh, levels for me. Well, I got no idea what I look like, but sweat and sawdust don't make a very attractive combo. Oh, I wish I had built a bigger workbench. It'd be so nice to not be on the floor. Whew, you'd never think pushing something back and forth would make you this sweaty. Disgusting. All right, I'm calling it a night. I got one side flattened and then I flipped it over. I'm gonna flatten this side to a pretty good level also, and then I will decide which side's better, and we will focus all of our attention on that side. Making sure it's perfectly flat, and then the other side will just make smooth, it doesn't have to be as perfect. So, I'm calling it a night. I uh, will see you guys the next time I pick this up. All right, that's another dusty, dirty night done. So I'm really happy I got this thing flat on this side. The other side's not as perfect, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's flat enough to get the, the legs on and the support pieces will be good. So very happy. This thing is, is perfectly flat, a little bit of sanding, and it'll be good to go. I'm very, very pleased. I'm exhausted. I'm definitely calling it a night. The router, held up to its torture test beautifully. That was, uh, it definitely put in some work there. I'm excited to get some legs on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the supports, the legs, and then I'll start sanding so it's up at a working height rather than, you know, on my knees this entire time, so. And I swear, not even like a third done with this project and my workbench is already full. Vertical, no. Horizontal surfaces, they just like to fill up. All right, it's another day on this project. It's disgustingly hot again, so expect me to look pretty sweaty in not very long. Today, I'm gonna put some legs on this thing, get it up to a good working height, and then I'll start sanding. 
we'll chop off the ends and we'll go from there. Here's the hoping I bought enough lumber. I got one, two, three, four, five left. So. All right, that's the general plan. I'm gonna flip this over. We'll cut a support here, a support here. Uh, screw this, those two supports and this on. And then we'll decide if more supports are needed, any angles, stuff like that. Dang it, I wasn't recording. I got this thing on. Uh, I laid out the holes on this one and I'm about to screw this one on. All right, so using two inch screws, pre-drilling, countersinking, just a tiny bit. Uh, the, way, the way I like to do this because I don't have very many big clamps is I just, I'll put one screw in each corner and then I'll finish all the drilling and stuff. That's the legs and the supports drilled in. I'm gonna get Katie to help me tip it over and we're gonna test this thing and see if it's wobbling or if it needs any additional work. Katie and I got this stood up last night and it's looking really good. It's pretty stable, but there's a, a touch of back to back. So what I'm planning, I kind of figured this would happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a 45 to go from here to here. I cut two 45s that'll fit between the support and this rear uh, leg. We're gonna screw these in and see how much it helps with stability. Go from there. All right, I don't know how easy you'll be able to tell, but it's a million times stabler now. So, next plans, I've drawn a line here. That's where I'm gonna cut it straight off on this side. And a line here to cut it straight off on this side. That takes care of the majority of where I still had like some issue spots on the bottom where I wasn't able to get a super flat. You can see that's how much I would have had to take off to get that flat. And this is already probably less than an inch. And then on this side, we did a lot better, but you can see if, if I go too much farther, I needed to flatten this just a bit more. So I, my flattening jig definitely needed work. My original glue up definitely needed work. And then we could have gotten this flatter. Yeah, we could have gotten this a whole lot flatter from the beginning, but that's fine. I made it work. I've got it flat now. And then I'm just gonna take a, a sand to it. Get this sanded. All right, guys, I'm running out of SD card space. So you'll have to forgive me if this turns into more of a, like a progress update than a time lapse and show you how I'm doing it. So, you know, this is a new problem for me. So I don't have any backup SD cards on hand, but I have plenty of batteries now. So I'll keep upgrading as I learn I need to. So I'll buy some new SD cards, but I got the ends cut off. So on to sanding, this will take a while. So I'll bring you guys back when I get it. Get it a little flatter and looking smooth and pretty. And then I'll flip it over and I'll smooth out the bottom and the legs. And then we're gonna, we're gonna spray paint the legs white and stain the top a real light color. Also wanted to give a quick update on this 3D printed piece for the router I did. Uh, it worked fantastically, but 
Man, it definitely got worn down. So I'll have to print another one if I'm gonna use it again. That screw head's just nearly poking through. But yeah, it, it worked really well. It slid along the rail really well, much better than without it. So I'm very happy that I was able to 3D print my own piece that you know nobody would sell. And yeah, we'll, we'll improve on it next time. So if I use that rail again, I'll build some flat spots into this. So it slides straight along the rail and I don't have to like hold it in place. That'll help a lot. And then we might make it thicker to account for the wear. The, and maybe make it out of ABS or some other plastic. We'll see. Something a little more hardy than the PLA. But yeah, very happy with that. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but I got all of the router marks out. There's one or two deep ones. Um, good example is right here. I think you can see that where I must have pushed down pretty hard or something on accident. That was when I was first starting. So, but yeah, this thing is smooth now. So now that this is smooth, I've done a uh, full 80 on this. I'm gonna flip it over and get the legs and the bottom knocked out. Probably, I'll probably do up to like 120 on them. I'm not too concerned. Uh, the legs, sorry, I'll go higher on the legs. On the bottom, I'm not gonna go too high. I just wanna knock everything down and get it smooth. And then we'll, we'll work our way up 120, 220, 320, and then we'll paint, probably do another 320. Uh, and then, stain or stain first paint last i haven't decided but this thing is looking fantastic once i get this stained it's gonna look amazing look at that nice knot there like i know i know knots aren't great for woodworking but i think they look amazing once it's stained so i think this is gonna look really good i'm excited this project has come together great got a nice sturdy desk this huge and didn't cost me too much oh yeah Whoops. Next build, 3D printer cabinet. I might owe my wife a car wash after this one. That's how much dust I made sanding and probably some that I missed the other day, but dang, that's a lot. I got it flipped over. I'll start sanding on the back. I got it turned back over. The bottom is all sanded and ready to be stained. And then I just took a little wood putty and filled in a few of the slightly larger cracks on top. It's no real big deal, but I just, I think it looks a little cleaner with the cracks filled. So I like to do that. Did a quick little test run of all the stains we had. Um, we liked these two the best. This is only one coat, so they'll be a little bit darker, but we thought these two went the best with the white. And this is the one we're gonna use. So, pretty nice little, little test there. Uh, all the filler is dry. So I'm gonna take the top up to whatever the stains tell me to. Probably, probably up to 240. We'll get sanding up through the grits. All right, so we got this all prepped and ready. Um, it's been sanded up to 240. And then we wiped it down with a microfiber, got all the sawdust off. And we're gonna apply the stain. I've got some foam brushes, and then we'll we'll let it sit for a second and wipe it off with paper towels. Yeah. I'll bring you guys back once the first coat's on. So that's coat one. In two hours, we'll do another coat. And then we'll flip it over, stain the bottom, and get the legs ready for painting. Second stain is done. The knots are standing out super well. Like, look at these, it looks super cool. I love how the wood grain looks with stain on it. All right, that's coat one done. 
Now I got to take a real high grit, sand it, because it, it raises the wood grain a lot, but it's not too bad. You just sand it and it, it gets really smooth really fast on the second coat. And you do a third for fun or to even it out. You know, sometimes the wood grain shows through. So I say so a lot. Hey, right, taking a quick break from work. Uh, I got all the masking paper off. Uh, the legs look amazing. They're gonna have Katie come help me flip it over, put it down on these pieces of cardboard, and then I will start spraying this polyurethane, um, this oil-based polyurethane that we're gonna use to protect the top. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go find Katie. Beat the rain. But not by much. All right, let's get this closed up and let it dry. That's code one on. So much easier than brushing it. All right, I got two coats of that poly on. I'm just gonna give it a real light sand. It's just a touch rough. Not, not bad, but just a little bit. So a real light sand of like 400, and then hopefully we'll do our final coat, unless it's rough again, and then, you know, we'll see. But hopefully, hopefully light sand and then a final coat. All right, it was a touch of a struggle to get it in here. Uh, a couple of the corners are a bit tighter than I thought, and then Maybe I should have measured the final doorway instead of the ones in between. Lessons learned. Anyway, we got it in. It just took a little bit of wiggling around doorways. It looks great in here. Uh, this isn't the final configuration, but it'll work for now. The plan is to hang the monitors. Um, obviously do some cable management once that's done. But yeah, this is a great workable start. And Katie will be working in here. Super excited this one's done. The desk looks amazing. I don't know how well you can tell, but the finish came out really good. The contrasting colors between the white and the, the top uh, stain looks amazing. All these little knots and details, I just love it. It looks really good. So super, super excited about this one. It feels great to have it done. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for joining me.